Gotham really was uh, though like a hit. I mean, the the, the uh, when you get acceptance from like that Batman and comic book world that you as Jim Gordon and uh, oh, what's the kid's name who plays the Joker? He's unbelievable too. Cameron the guy Monaghan. from Shameless. Oh, uh, yeah, Cameron Monaghan. Cameron yeah. Monaghan. Yeah, we've had him on the show before too. Uh, like oh. those are two roles that when you get you know the the seal of approval from those fans i think that's a, a huge deal and i know it's you know it's not the marvel movie but it's like it's in that comic realm and it's it's uh it's definitely been a hit uh we had a great time making it i mean i i remember uh you know hearing about the concept from bruno heller who created the show and i was like that's great you know uh a a a, a detective story set in the world of batman right. is awesome um, and there's so much great source material. I mean, we were taking from different things, but G, you know, um, um, Gotham central and, uh, year one, which, which I lent the voice to, um, for another project a few years prior. Like there's just, there's a lot of like groundedness to the Batman world that allows you to have your cake and eat it too. So it's like a hard bitten detective, but mixed with, you know, superheroes. You're not very active on social media, so you probably didn't see it, but like when you were announced as like, this is going to be Jim Gordon. Did you deal with like a lot of people hating it, like, hating the idea? Like, just cause like, I, I feel like I've seen Ben Affleck tell a story. I think I've seen Heath Ledger even tell a story. Just like when they were announced as the cast member, everyone was like the guy from 10 things I hate about you. How the fuck is he going to play the Joker? <laughs> and Affleck was the same <laughs> yeah, way. Like, ben was like, when I got cast as Batman, like they were like telling me to kill myself before I could ruin the role. Right. Yeah. Was, is that something you had yeah. at all? I, you know, I mean, I think I was lucky because Gordon is such a like, you know, everyone's like, oh, yeah, Commissioner Gordon. Oh, what a great character. But he's always in the background. Like, he's never the emphasis of a, uh, of a, of a, a, a series, certainly, uh, even a movie. He's the, you know, he's the guy behind the desk who, who helps um, uh, Batman take down the bad guys. In this case, you're switching it completely. He's a young guy. He's in the prime. And he's meeting a, a you know, a, a Bruce Wayne after his parents murder. So it just flipped the whole thing on its head, which I think saved me from some of that criticism. Not that I didn't get criticism, right. um, but like I, everyone was like relatively play. Cause I don't think they knew what to expect. It's like, Oh, I remember posting the first photo. They took a, we did a, like a little hair and makeup camera test thing before um, wardrobe thing before filming. And it was just me in a suit with a GCPD badge. I buzzed my hair um, so I looked, it looked like at the military, which is what I was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I was like, here's detective Jim Gordon. And the internet was like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like that's so cool. And, and, you know, uh, and also like, what, that's not, you know, what? And, you know, and it provoked that conversation of where's his mustache. And you're like, trust me, you do not want to see me. You should look at sharp with the scuff, the scruff there. I like it. <laughs> Hey man, I've given up, dude. I it think everybody, <laughs> everybody's given the beard and the long hair a shot, and you found out whether it works for you or not over the last few months. You know, I think you guys are rocking it too. Well done. <laughs>